Hi guys, today is Wednesday. I'm just about to do my makeup. I've got this event today with my management agency. I think it's basically like a load of talks with like TikTok and Instagram and basically just, I guess, keeping us in the loop with what's coming or what's happening in the kind of media online digital world i'm really excited about it i'm excited to see my managers and maybe see some other content creators there it might be fun i have no idea what to wear so i'm just wearing my dressing gown whilst i do my makeup but at the end of last week's vlog i showed me taking my mum into code 8 beauty for like a bespoke lip personalization lipstick service which anyone can go and buy i think it's such a nice present idea especially if you know like a beauty fanatic yeah if you want to go and check that out i'll leave last week's vlog up here but i am just so excited to wear my lipstick today the lipstick i made oh there's a little note in here from the guy that made it that's very cute you get to like name your lipstick and i've got a code here so i think people could go and buy my lipstick too here she is oh my god it's so gorgeous cannot wait to apply that today i also purchased and treated myself to a couple of other bits from the brand i haven't tried any of code 8 before but i was having a little play around with some of the samples they had in store and i picked up the radiate second skin finish beauty balm it's a bb cream um it was just very light on the skin i tried the tiny bit here and it was just yeah it looked very natural but very dewy and glowy which i like and then i also picked up a tinted lip balm this is in the shade spin city i'm going to try this as well today i'm going to mix it with some of my lipstick to change the shade slightly i'm gonna do my makeup now this is my skin and the guy said tie two pumps with your fingers and i never apply my makeup with my fingers anymore i only ever apply concealer with found fingers but not ever actual makeup so i'm gonna try that a little bit of spf first is gonna be hot this week so i need to protect my skin I'm wearing SP50 every day. I'm still loving my brow lamination. It makes everything so much easier. Right, two pumps. Hmm. So nice. That is so light and natural. You can hardly even see I'm wearing anything. I would definitely need concealer. But it is a lovely base. Hmm. To be honest, that is such a la natural base. You can hardly even tell I'm wearing anything. It has evened out my skin tone. And made my skin super dewy. I wanted to show you my gorgeous decorations that I did icing at Biscuities. <laughs> my personal favourite is the little bumblebee. Also like the beehive. Butterfly. Some champagne. I'm going to have one now. I'm going to eat my lips which my sister said looks like my brother-in-law's hernia when he had one. Today it's Friday, having a no makeup day and just in such a good mood because the sun is shining and I've got the weekend to myself. G is up to visit his parents this weekend in Yorkshire and so yeah, I've got the weekend kind of home alone. It's uh, Mother's Day this Sunday, so I've got a really nice day plan for my mum and sister. Today's also the first day I've been at home all week. It's been so busy, it definitely just feels like COVID is a non-thing right now, even though I know so many people who have it right now. I think I know like 10 people, 10, 15 people who have it at the moment, um, which is madness. I guess because it's starting to feel a bit like summer yeah everyone's in such a good mood regardless <laughs> of the fact that there, there's still like this pandemic going on i've just written up a little list of things that i want to get done today it involves going to the shop and getting some ingredients for dinner this evening i was going to treat myself to a takeaway but i think i'm going to do that tomorrow instead now and take advantage of the fact g isn't home to make one of my favorite dinners that he doesn't like um i'm sure if he tried it he'd like it but I love mackerel on toast, just like tinned mackerel on toast put under the grill. Um, 
so it's warmed through so i'm gonna have that for dinner tonight and i'm just so looking forward to it also gonna see if there are any brussels sprouts around and um, because i'd love that as a little side dish <laughs> just like full-on going stinky food because g isn't home i would like to go on the bike at some point but i'm not gonna put too much pressure on today I'll definitely go on it tomorrow and then work wise I want to back up my all the pictures on my phone because if I lost all of them that would be really bad for content I need to edit some pics write some captions think about TikTok definitely want to get on that bandwagon before it's too late and yeah kind of sort the house out a bit we've left it in quite a mess this week especially in my office so I'd like to like have a bit of a tidy as well. I am going to listen to an audiobook whilst I quickly sort some bits of my office out. I've been listening to a book called No Such Thing as Normal by Bryony Gordon. I've got one of her other books, Mad World, in on my bookshelf downstairs, but I haven't got around to reading it yet. But I'm really into my audiobooks at the moment for when I'm kind of just pottering around the house. I've got an hour left of it, and if any of you struggle with worry or depression or mental health at all then i would recommend it i want to um forward it to my mum and sister because i think they'll really enjoy it and i think it will really help them too but after that i think i might listen to my favorite murder because i've got so many new episodes to catch up on right i picked up <laughs> this little contraption it looks like this apparently it is a bun maker i'm gonna try and use it I've got some instructions on here i put my hair through the hole <laughs> I've got maybe I should have got a bigger one because I've got quite a lot of hair. Put pull the hair through the center of the bun maker. Pull bun maker towards the end of the hair. End of the hair. And roll towards the head. Here. So roll like that. And then twist. Oh my god, it's gonna work. Then twist. Oh my god! oh <gasps> cool okay well, i've got i've got way too much hair for this so i think i need a longer one but <laughs> i feel why do i feel like anne boleyn right now <laughs> let's see what it looks from the back you're gonna have to tell me because i can't see it can you even see that i don't think you can see the back thing or maybe you can oh and all my hair's falling out now Oh dear. I need a longer one and I need some practice, but I love the concept. What is going on? I was talking on Instagram stories yesterday about uh, a topic that isn't like it's very very common but it can be seen as embarrassing and that is dandruff i've massively massively been struggling with dandruff for the last month or so and i can't like i've never really had it before i don't know what brought it on part of me thinks maybe covid and my body's still being run down might have like kick-started it but i've been using so like i've been trying really hard to get rid of it myself I've been using loads of tea gel. Yeah, like in the past, tea gel has worked for me, but it hasn't been recently. Why does this look green? I went into a chemist yesterday. Like, it's so bad. I'm even getting dandruff in my eyebrows. My skin's just so dry. Um, but I went into a chemist yesterday to see if I could pick anything up, and I picked up two things. And then I've also just had a little look in my beauty stash to see if there's anything else I can try. And I've dug some bits out. So this, here's like what I've got. I'm not all, obviously going to try them all at the same time because that would be probably counterproductive. But here's what I've got. I picked up this Sebamide anti-dandruff shampoo. It was 5 dollars It has some like active ingredients in it to help get rid of dandruff. I also picked up this from Eucerin, which it, it was a bit more expensive. It was 8 dollars And it's a scalp treatment. So again, it's got some like active ingredients. And you apply it either on wet hair on your scalp, massage it in and leave it. Or on dry hair. I'm going to give that a go tonight, I think. Leave it on overnight, see what it does. And then I've also dug out a scalp scrub. This is from Frank Body. It's caffeinated. Might help kind of loosen up um, some dry skin. I found a scalp and hair serum from Galany. And with prebiotics and postbiotic. Leaves it glossy. I'm not sure how good that would be on dandruff specifically or dry scalp. But it's a scalp, scalp serum. And then I've got two like hyaluronic acid scalp serum or hair treatments. This is more of an oil. Whereas this one from Revolution is a scalp serum. So 
I've got some bits I'm going to try over the next few weeks and hopefully I can get this sorted. I'll leave links to all of those down below. I'm just like, uh, this morning, I thought I'd lost Maurice. Like, I thought he'd escaped from the house somehow. I was, like, running around the house calling him, couldn't find him anywhere, wasn't in any of his usual positions. And I've just spotted where he is. He's been, like, hiding under the bed, which is so sad. Yesterday there was, um guys in the street cutting back all the trees around down our road and he maurice got really scared so i guess this is his new hiding place oh, oh my god you can't even see him i just went to the shop to get lunch i picked up a meal deal i've got a prawn mayo sandwich a coconut water and some pineapple and i've also got some cheetos <laughs> This is very unattractive looking dinner. But I've got my sprouts with some uh, balsamic vinegar and honey on the side of my mackerel on toe. It's Saturday morning. I've exercised, had a tiny bit of lion, and um, I'm now having a cup of tea in the garden. Sorry, I'm looking over there because I'm just keeping an eye on Maurice because if another cat walks on the fence, he will go after him. <laughs> He's got to jump, I know it. It's such a lovely weekend. I think it's getting to 18 degrees today. So yeah, I'm having a cup of tea in the garden and I thought I'd do some wedding stuff as well. So I bought these boxes from Tiger. They were like three, oh no, they were at five pounds each. And we are gonna put each of these in the bathrooms, one for the men, one for the women. And they're gonna have like dry shampoo, hairspray, stuff to refresh people throughout the day. And I'm gonna paint them, I'm gonna paint them with this chalkboard paint that I picked up in Wilco's. So I'm hoping that it will dry and then I'll be able to like write on the side. I need to think, like work out what I wanna write. But yeah, I thought whilst the sun is shining, I would do this today. boxes are outside drying i think they might be dry now actually i'm gonna see if they need another coat but um yeah i want to do some wedding planning stuff today but i tried to sit down on the sofa and do some but i was just not i needed some food so i'm making scrambled eggs on toast with tomatoes i weirdly don't like hot tomatoes <laughs> i know it sounds so stupid um the only way i like them is cut like this and put on a griddle pan with some oregano salt and pepper and olive oil obviously i like pasta sauce and like tomatoes like when they're mushed down in a pasta but yeah for some reason hot tomatoes don't really do it for me unless they're done like this so I'm quite excited about my breakfast today. It is my breakfast. Look at those toms though, they look great. Jumper from Mango, quite a while ago it was in the sale actually. Um, I need your advice, <laughs> whether to wear it like this or bear with me. It came with this little cape, but I haven't really worn it with the cape because I'm <laughs> scared it looks stupid. <laughs> You can tell me what, I th what you think. Maybe it just feels a little bit young. It's not very me, but I still quite like it. Um, do I look like I should be in Oliver? <laughs> mm, I feel like the bow just makes me really frumpy. Um, I'm gonna take it off, and unless one of you guys tells me otherwise. I am quickly gonna make myself a bowl of cereal. I am in the weirdest mood today. I can't even explain what kind of mood I'm in. I just feel really unsure about everything. Not everything, just work. I feel like I'm a bit in limbo, like what am I doing? What am I doing? I always I always have like phases where I feel like this, but today I'm really like, yeah, I've woke up in a mood and I'm like inspired and like happy, but also what am I doing? And I think it's because I was out every day last week. By the way, this cereal is my current fave, honey and nut, delicious. Yeah, last week because I was out every day, I, I couldn't really sit at my desk and like work. And so I haven't like been at my desk making content in a while. And I just feel confused. I've got therapy today. 
every Monday lunchtime. And I never look forward to it, even though I know I feel <coughs> like I know I feel better afterwards. Um, let's just get worried about what to talk about. Maybe this feeling I'm feeling, maybe I should talk about that. So yeah, when I get back home, I am going to have a bit of a brainstorm. See, like yeah, just have a bit of a think about what I want to be doing. And I need to make some content this week that fits in with my content pillars. Yeah, I'm just adding a banana into my cereal because it's an easy way to get one every five a day. I'm home and I've cried all my mascara off just this side apparently apparently there's still some here <laughs> that was a really hard session I, f I yeah I feel very emotional today and I don't know why oh my god I was trying to like hold it in on my walk home but I just felt like I needed to cry and now I'm home and now I've had like a half an hour walk I don't feel so bad but I want to sit on the sofa and um I asked for some questions for a QA and a on Instagram today so I'm going to sit on the sofa and answer those I have a bit of a brainstorm and I've booked in a meeting with my managers on Thursday for a bit of a catch up and a brainstorm too. So I'm being like productive in terms of sorting some shit out. But yeah, I'm gonna have a cup of tea and do this now. Also, I've been getting into Gilmore Girls recently. Um, I, I've never watched it before, um, but I think, oh my gusto's here, one sec. I never watched Gilmore Girls when it was on telly the first time round. I don't even know what channel it was on. I started watching it a few months ago just as like something to watch in the background. I do quite like having something on that I don't need to think about, but it's kind of like nice and familiar. Um, so yeah, I've been having the Gilmore Girls on. I think I'm up to season three now. The, the series is so long, there's like 20 episodes per season. I really hate the theme tune, but I'm um, getting into it now. So weird seeing everyone so young, like Milo, I never know how to say his name, Ventimiglia, he, um, he's a baby in it, and so is Adrian Brody, I recognised, and um, Maurice. <laughs> um, who's the other guy? Chris Pine? Is that his name? I don't know. Good stuff week we have a uh, spanish style chicken and charred pepper salad that looks really nice we, we've um we're having healthy meals in the next month because our wedding isn't far away now we've got a smoked batter with cheesy mash and a poached egg that looks interesting i, I don't know why i chose that one we've got a baked lemon and herb batter with cherry tomatoes which looks like that that is like under 300 calories and a banh mi style chicken salad with sesame croutons again looks great it's got a couple of salads and a couple of fish dishes yum 